It's a good member from the 19th, Representative Walsh. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Bad, bad bill. Please vote no. How long, Madam Speaker, how long will the patience of the people of this state be taxed by these bad policies? How long, Madam Speaker, how long will the working families of the Puget Sound area have to suffer the financial hardship created by proposals like this one? To what end, Madam Speaker, do we pursue these policies that tell the people they will cost them pennies and then cost them dollars or hundreds of dollars? Madam Speaker, the working people of this state are tired. They are tired of hearing big promises of decarbonization, but then having to live with the effects of bureaucratic fees that drive up the cost of living, that drive up their utility bills, that drive up the cost of groceries. Madam Speaker, we must stop this bad policy. The frustration and the weariness of the working people of Washington State are the reason that almost half a million Washingtonians supported Initiative 2117 to repeal the climate uh, commitment. If, if you could speak to the policy in front of you, please proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. That policy and this policy, they are similar, Madam Speaker. In many ways, they are the same. And the day is too late, the hour is too late, to continue to force this financial hardship on people who are struggling to make ends meet. This is bad public policy, Madam Speaker. It's constitutionally flawed, and it will inflict hardship on working people. Please vote no.